Hello everyone, I am Sonu Lamba, currently working as a junior research fellow at the Department of Mathematics, NIT Jamshedpur. I extend a warm welcome to all of you in this workshop. I was waiting for this day for almost two months and today we are here to kick off our workshop with this inaugural session. I am happy to tell you that we have the workshop chief advisor Dr. Raj Nand Kiyolar sir with us. Sir is currently working as assistant professor at the department of mathematics NIT Jamshedpur. Sir has done a PhD in mathematics from IIT ISM Dhanbad and having a postdoctoral research experience from the University of KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Sir has published more than 50 peer-reviewed journal papers. So making the introduction brief, now I would like to invite Dr. Raj sir for beginning the session. Okay, first of all, thank you Sonu for setting up this workshop. I must congratulate Sonu for giving me this opportunity to inaugurate the workshop LLRO 2020. I am highly grateful to be a part of this workshop and I appreciate all the resource persons for accepting our invitation. I also thank all the participants for joining us today. As a chief advisor of this workshop, I will be taking you through a brief overview and the structure of this workshop. Here is the agenda of this workshop. Uh, here is the agenda of this session. The session has two parts. One is the overview and another is the structure of this workshop. So without wasting much of the time, let us start. So before, go before going to the overview and structure of this workshop, uh, I would like to I would like to explain some some points about the LaTeX software and Overlay to you briefly. I am using LaTeX since the completion of my PhD, and I believe that LaTeX is the most powerful tool for scientific documentation. Whenever whatever problems we face in MS Word or in any other software, uh, those problems can be resolved in latex or can be handled in latex very easily. Further, we can write any document, whether it is scientific document or even uh, letters and uh, legal letters, you can uh, typeset using the latex softwares, using latex commands. There are many, uh, uh, we, okay, before, uh, before going to the overleaf, I, uh, I must tell you my own experience with the latex software. So it was uh, it was in 2010 why I when I submitted my PhD thesis, I submitted my thesis uh, in the month of October to, uh, 20, uh, 2010, and uh, by that time I could publish uh, four or five research papers uh, from my PhD thesis. And uh, I think one uh, one or two research papers was uh, still under consideration in different journals. So after the submission of the thesis, uh, uh, I waited for my uh, defense, and uh, it could happen only in the month of April 2011 uh, when I was awarded a PhD degree. Uh, by that time, I, I I was working as an assistant professor in in the uh, in the School of Applied Sciences Department of Mathematics at uh, KIIT University. And uh, uh, during this period, actually, those two research papers, the, those which were in communication in different journals, uh, used to come back every now and then uh, with some comments or uh, even from some journals without any proper review and they were sending back the uh, sending back the manuscripts and uh, i used to format those manuscripts uh, in different formats for uh, suit uh, for suitable to suitable to other journals uh, other journals and uh, uh, and uh, i was sending them again and again and i was uh, i think uh, if i can recall i got around four or five rejections for a single manuscript 
so after the rejection every time i had to spend a lot of time in the formatting of that manuscript and because if you if you send it to some uh, springer journal uh, they will ask in their own format uh, if you send it to El elsevier journal they will ask in their own format if you if you uh, if you use some other publisher like asme or they will ask in their format and so on so this is what is happening uh, this is what was happening to me uh, with that paper every time i was sending that paper uh, and i had to format in a different format so what happened uh, one day my uh, one of my friend told me that why don't you learn latex and uh, Uh, try to use latex uh, latex in type typesetting your doc scientific documents like um, the manuscripts so by that time i was not even the friend was not having any idea of uh, latex software he just uh, gave me gave me a suggestion uh, and uh, i was not having any idea of latex software so what happened i uh, i uh, googled and i i tried to find out uh, how can we use the latex software in scientific writing so first of all the question was uh, which are the softwares that we need to install on the on our computer uh, computer so i could find out uh, few a few softwares mictex winedit jsview and uh, and some some other software which were even not required but i uh, installed because i was actually not aware of the fact even that uh, what are the softwares that actually we need for running a, uh, a latex project so after all i i could install the latex uh, uh, um, latex after spending uh, maybe three or four continuous uh, continuous days so after the installation the question was how to typeset the documents so i can remember i again googled and i could find out some uh, dollar signs and in between you if you write a equal to b it will become a mathematics so the first equation that i wrote down in latex of uh, latex uh, using the latex uh, uh, typesetting was a equal to b okay so from here i started i started from a very a very scratch and uh, Uh, and also i could i did not take the help of anyone uh, you um, because uh, at that time it was not that famous uh, or you can say uh, the mostly the uh, uh, pure mathematicians were using latex software for their scientific writing and unfortunately i was not having a friend uh, who was working in pure pure mathematics so okay uh, so i started uh, like that uh, and now what is the point the point is uh, what i want to tell you the, uh, by that time i uh, i had around six, six or seven publications at most now i have around 50 uh, around 50 publications and apart from those six or seven publications i did not use the word software in any other scientific scientific uh, paper that I, pub i i have now with me and that is means after that period which i spent using word i never returned back to word for my scientific writing i always use latex once i started in 2011 in 2020 also we are using the latex software so for, uh, for all the research papers i use latex and it it is very 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 easy to format the uh, documents using the latex commands you just need to uh change a few uh, commands in the preamble of the manuscript and you will uh, you uh, you are good to go you you can submit that manuscript to any journal spenger elsevier asme and aip or whatever okay so the main advantage is the formatting references can be handled very easily the document can be handled very easily because uh, and the output also that you get from the latex typeset documents is actually very uh, of very high quality and that is why the publishers now uh, nowadays are preferring the latex uh, latex uh, latex type typeset documents because they don't have to for uh, 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 put more effort in the formatting of the document and they can easily publish the materials okay so this is what actually motivated me for uh, for learning latex uh, and uh, i believe that you can also learn a lot from this workshop and uh, once you have learned the latex you will not return back to your uh, original typesetting documents 
now after the latex i would like to tell uh, about the overleaf so actually there are many offline editors like tech studio tech maker and some others but there are very few online editors who provide advantages like overleaf overleaf do the the overleaf is an online tech editor which offers many benefits to its users the main thing i like uh, about overleaf is the ability to collaborate with other collaborators there are many other advantages of overleaf about which sonu will be discussing in the first lecture of the workshop uh, actually i am also use, uh, using the overleaf overleaf software and i am using it uh, uh, the, i am using the free version of the software because i don't have a paid one uh, i used to i used to create the documents in my uh, in my overleaf account and i used to share with my phd students and what they do they write the documents uh, they, they write the man, uh, they write the uh, papers in those documents and then uh, those become available to me i can easily edit those documents and then communicate to the journals so that is actually very very nice you don't have to uh, uh, go to your computer actually once you have uploaded your documents to the online uh, editors of overleaf uh, you, uh, you you can compile your documents from the uh, smartphone or your tablets so actually you, even if you are not near to your desktop or laptop you can actually compile the documents and you can uh, uh, after the compilation you can download the pdf of the uh, scientific manuscript so uh, with this uh, uh, let, uh, let us have an overview of the workshop so this is a one week online workshop no uh, sorry uh, on learn latex for research using overleaf and this is being organized with the support of overleaf under the overleaf advisory program the main motive of this workshop is to equip the participants with the essential tools for scientific documentation the other aim is to extend a uh, helping hand to the flood affected states of bihar and assam by donating a big part of the revenue to the chief minister's relief fund of both the states and uh, i must uh, mention here that uh, the first motive of um, the first uh, I, um, the first motive of don of donation part is already accomplished and sonu has already donated a significant amount of the revenue generated from this uh, registrations uh, to the uh, to the chief minister's relief fund of the two states of bihar and assam now because this motive has already accomplished and i hope the main objective which is to learn latex for the scientific writing will also be accomplished by the end of this week by the end of this workshop coming to the stats we have received a total of 1215 pre registrations out of which 400 participants finally confirmed their registrations uh, Uh, we are actually thankful to this 400 confirmed participants who joined us for this noble cause it was presumed that a large portion of the participants would be from research scholar fraternity here you can see about one third of the participants are research scholars and that is why instead of having all the lectures and the sessions from overleaf experts uh, we dis uh, i advise sonu that we should have some uh, sessions from the research scholars too so that the young researchers and faculties among the participants can have a better understanding of latex and uh, uh, i must also uh, point out here that we do have ug students phd students research scholars faculties also here and some self as uh, uh, some uh, some teachers from uh, colleges some young researchers from all over india actually from iits nits iics and uh, some state universities central universities so the participation is from all over india okay coming to the lecture plan we have divided the lectures into two sessions 
the morning sessions are the uh, um, the morning sessions and the evening sessions the talks in the morning sessions will be delivered by the resource persons mentioned here and the talks in the evening sessions will be delivered by the tech parts from the overleaf community along with the lectures in morning and evening sessions there would also be assignments and online exams that you have to submit according to the schedule each assignment will consist of 10 questions related to the lectures held on that day the assignments will be shared with confirmed participants via the registered email id only the link to the next assignments will be shared with those who submit the previous assignment and submission of all assignments is mandatory for taking the online exam so these are the rules related to the submission of assignments that the participants need to follow now at the at the at the end of the workshop after you submit all the assignments you do also have a online exam so on the last day of the workshop there will be an online exam examination and the on the details about this online examination will be shared with you during the paledectory section now sonu along with the invited resource persons will be talking about lecture schedules in more depth uh, with this uh, i wish you all the best for the workshop i'm sure you will enjoy the workshop content if you have any type of queries and suggestions please write us an email at the email id that was provided on the first slide we are we would be more happy to answer your queries thanks to one and all once again i congratulate sonu and i wish a great success for this workshop thank you thank you so much sir we are grateful to you for sharing your own experience of using LaTeX and Overleaf with us. Finally, I would like to thank the Overleaf management for supporting and motivating us to plan this workshop. I particularly thank the CMO of Overleaf, Mary Ann Baines and the MD of Overleaf, Kat Chidik, for being with us all the time while this, uh, while planning this workshop. Due to the mismatch of time zones, we have already received a thank you video by Mary Ann Bins, CMO of Overleaf. So let us watch this video Hi everyone, I'm Marianne Baines, Chief Marketing Officer and Head of Sales for Overleaf. I wanted to wish you all the best on this workshop, Learning LaTeX for Research Using Overleaf. And I wanted to thank Dr. Raj Nankilyar and Sonia Lamba for setting it up and coordinating it. We do appreciate that you all are using Overleaf and we're really happy to be able to support your workshop and the LaTeX community. If you ever have any questions about either LaTeX or um, Overleaf, you're more than welcome to reach out to us at support at overleaf.com and we have tech experts who are able to answer any of your questions. Again, sorry we couldn't be there in person, but we are really happy to be supporting supporting you all and we do really appreciate the fact that you're using Overleaf. So so thank you very much and good luck with the workshop.